Hey guys, it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. Uh, now in this Xcode tutorial, as you're probably told by the title, I'm going to be doing something that I have not seen on YouTube at all, and I've had a couple of requests for it, um, and it's how to attach an image or a file to an email for in-app email. So I'm sure you've been on apps where you're allowed to send images uh, to people, even on the Photos app within the actual iPhone, you can send your photos to your friends. Now, sometimes you're just like, well, how can I send a photo to my friend from my own app? Um, so that's what I'm going to teach you to do. Um, now, I am going to be expecting that you've already, you already know how to uh, use in-app email in your app anyway. Um, and I have done a video on that, and you can find that video here. Um, it's in-app email. Um, so yeah, all, already in this application, which I've just got open here, all I've done is I've added my message UI framework, which I have done a video on how to add frameworks, and in my in-app email video, I also tell you how to add that as well. And I've also added two pictures here. One's a JPEG format, and the other's a PNG format. Um, so yeah, they're, they're the only two files so far that I've found out that Xcode will allow you to send in an email. Um, that's the only ones I can work out how to do so far, so yeah, that's what I uh, what I've got um, so yeah I'm gonna go into my mail attached view controller dot H and first of all we need to import our message UI framework so message oops message UI forward slash MF mail and it's uh, MF mail compose view controller I think yeah MF mail compose view controller dot H let me just check one second MF yeah it's MF mail sorry yeah, so that's that line you need to type in. Again, all stuff will be in the description anyway. Uh, then we need the message um, MF Mail Compose View Controller Delegate, like that. And then I'm just going to make an action here, and it's going to be a, a sender action uh, because we're going to have two buttons that with different tags so we can tell which one they're pressing because we're going to attach different images depending on which button they press. Um, so yeah, just to show you how you can attach a JPEG file and how you can attach a PNG file. So, uh, id sender, oops, I did that wrong, colon id sender, semicolon, uh, and then we need to go into here and we obviously need to uh, put in our open email action. Why am I typing open there? Sorry guys, it's been a bit of a while since I've, back, since I've been doing Xcode, so... Yeah, uh, I'm a bit bit dodgy on it still. Um, now, as I said, I'm going to expect you already know how to add uh, MF Mail. Uh, I have a code snippet down here to speed things up for this tutorial. So I'm just going to drag that code snippet in, put it in here. Now, as you'll notice, I have already got an action there, so I'm just going to delete that. Um, and then I need to delete this bracket down here. So I have a few errors here. Now, I'm just going to speed up me typing out these uh, things where I've got the errors and uh, I'll be back in a second so okay guys I'm back and um, well yeah I have made this code snippet uh, in my code snippets tutorial so if you want to see how to make a code snippet like that with all the little placeholders there then uh, feel free to check that one out as well. Um, so yeah, there you go. I've just put in some stuff like awesome image of the subject, my uh, fail okay gaps email, and just a, a little text thing here. Now what we've got to do now is actually add our um, image. So we've got to attach our image. So I'm going to go here underneath the, uh, before the I present the view controller, uh, I'm going to add my stuff. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to type in if, and then it's going to be sender, open square bracket, sender um, tag uh, is equal to zero. Then we shall do this statement. Um, so first of all, we need to get our UI image. So just UI image star. Uh, this is going to be the lion image. Uh, and that's going to space equal space. And it's just going to be UI image image named and then we're going to name it so this is a really annoying one to spell so uh, os x 
lion. And don't forget the extension, so .jpg, um, like that. And then we're going to need data, ns data. Um, and then we're going to have lion data, that's what I'm going to call it. So basically space, uh, UI image, and then it's, for me, it's going to pop up with this. That's just because I've been using it before. Um, it's just UI image. Then you're going to start typing JPEG for your JPEG image. So JPEG representation, and it should come up auto complete. Press enter. Now there are two different things, uh, two different uh, place parameter things here. Uh, the one is just your image. I'm going to type lion. The other one is your compression quality. So it's however you've compressed your JPEG image. Now this is only, I believe, for the JPEG images and GIF images, I think, I'm not sure. But with your PNG one, you won't need to do this. Obviously, I don't know what my compression format is for this image because I got it off the internet. Um, so I'm just going to put one and hopefully it goes okay. Obviously, if you made your own image or if it's your own image, which it should be if you're doing an app because of copyright reasons, um, just make sure you check how whether the compression format is and put that in there um, to make it look as best as it can when it's sent in the email. Um, so yeah, that basically just turns our thing uh, into a data format so we can put it into uh, our email. Now in our email we're going to use something called a MIME type. Now I can't exactly remember that for, I think it's a message in interpretation something email It's basically for emails and it's to tell the email what kind of what format the file is being sent is in so you know I'll, I'll, I'll just type it and I'll show you so we're gonna ask our mail composer to add attachment data like that it should come up with this so add attachment data blah blah, blah present it so we're gonna need NS data here um, for our attachment data and we've put that in our up here is line data, we've already put that in for us. Now here is the MIME type thing I was talking about. Now let's say you had an audio file that you were sending and the audio file is in MPEG format. You type in audio forward slash MPEG like that. If you had a, uh, a movie and it was in .mov format you type in video forward slash quick time. Now, unfortunately, I still haven't worked out how to attach videos and uh, and audio yet. But when I do, I'll, I'll let you guys know and put a new video up. Um, but this is just for images. So this time, it's an image forward slash JPEG. Like that. So it's a JPEG image. Um, and then the file name is literally just going to be our file name again. So I'm just going to copy and paste this up here. Copy, paste, and put that in like that. Now, that is our... Uh, that is how you attach an image to uh, an email. That's pretty much what it is. All you need is to get the instance of your image. You need to turn it into an NS data using this thing here. Now, again, I've, I've already told you this in many videos. I'm not a super pro, so I don't actually know what this line means. I just know it converts it into some sort of data that the thing that the email can use. If anyone does know what it does, then please let me know because I'd love to find out. Um, and then this one obviously adds our... Um, adds our thing to the mail composer so it adds our image into the mail um, again mime types I, I used to know what that stands for but I can't remember now so I'll link a Wikipedia page or something in the description so you can learn about mime types and you can learn about all the different formats so you can use it for your image um, now I'm just going to copy and paste this and do exactly the same for PNG so I'll be back in a minute alright guys I'm back and as you can see I've just added an else if statement here uh, to check if the sender tag is equal to one um, and then we have exactly the same here now you'll notice something slightly different instead of UI image JPEG representation for our data we have UI image PNG representation here now again that's just because the image we're using is a PNG not a JPEG and as you can see we only have one parameter in here and that's just to give the actual image file and not the compression format um, so yeah that's that and then here we type in the mime type instead of image jpeg we type image png and obviously the file names will change because obviously it's a different file we're trying to send so there you go that's how you add an image into the file so i'm just going to go here into our dot nib and i'm going to super speedy fast through putting on the buttons and stuff um and yep yeah, uh, i'll see you in a bit
Alright guys, I'm back. And as you can see, here's our built product. Um, I, I don't know if you saw there, but I connected the buttons to the same action um, because we need our senders different. Now I've just realized that I've built and then not changed the sender. So what I'm going to do now is go onto our Xcode button and I'm just going to change the sender tag all the way down here to 1. So the if statement will then work. So now I'm going to stop and run again. Um, so that's what we had the sender method for, so we can do that, so we don't have to clog our thing up with loads of actions and duplicating code and stuff. So now if we click Lion, you'll see we have our email comes up, and we have our image, see here, attached in our email. Now if I were to send this, uh, which I can't on the simulator because the simulator doesn't have a mail app, but if I could send this, then the person would be able to click on the image and save it. So I can click Cancel, Delete, and then I click on Xcode comes up with the same email but this time we have our different image and you can see it works fine with PNG and JPEGs like I said I don't know how to do any other things but I will try and find out and I will try and find out especially how to do videos and audio files if any of you guys want to send that because I know some people do because yeah I've, uh, I've been asked questions about that so there you go guys that's just a quick uh, well not exactly quick but uh, a video teaching you guys how to attach images in emails. So I hope that helped and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Failcake Apps. A little annotation thing should appear down here. Um, also don't forget to uh, click on some of the ads in some of my videos, the adverts, because that also helps as well. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And guys, really please give me likes on these videos because it lets me know, know if you like these videos, especially on my series videos because I don't know if I should carry on doing the series if no one likes the video, if you know what I mean. So especially do that, and uh, yep, yeah, thanks, and see you in my next tutorial.